my first show, so this was amazing. So I've been watching it on the TV, and it's such like a different experience. Like the room is so, the vibe is so different. I love it so. Much. Oh! So that's where like the spirit of drag comes from, just like the the over exaggeration of sexuality because you know people are in closets and they have to be like limited for so much. Just that you can be outrageous and like grand and be like gay as hell and be celebrated, you know? Yeah, my name is Nicole Vargas. I use she her pronouns and I'm the community engagement coordinator for the QRC. We're a student-run office and we offer support and services for queer students on campus. We do advocacy work, community work, and educational work. It's really great just to have like uncensored, unadulterated, like full artistic expression, kind of like along with the history of drag. Like, you don't really get to be completely yourself sometimes in public even in like a liberal space that Western is, it's still kind of hard to like self-express. And also kind of normalizes like if straight people or even queer people in the closet, if they see like the drag show. Um, yeah, just that like things are possible, like you can be yourself and it's really beautiful. So, so I'm sure there's a couple people in the audience who are like, wow, someone that looks like me or someone who has like some identity, who's doing something this amazing, you know, who's shining. Um, that's great to think about. We all know that women only make 77% of what a man makes for doing the exact same job. <laughs> someone out there who wants my disgusting feet for money. <laughs> I will sell my feet for money, okay? I will put down to my feet. I will sell my feet for money. I will sell my feet for money. Cut. 